Welcome, <clears throat> one and everyone, to this impromptu stream of Fallout 4. Far Harbor just dropped. I literally finished downloading and installing it two seconds ago, and I figured uh, if I was going to be playing it anyway, I might as well be broadcasting. Spoiler alert, Fallout 4. Far Oops. Harbor just dropped. I literally finished downloading. Spoiler alert, uh, this is a live broadcast, and... Uh, I'm showing off everything that's happening in, in Far Harbor. I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't gotten any spoilers. I haven't looked up anything about this downloadable content. So I will be discovering this expansion at the same time that you will be discovering this expansion. So for those watching on YouTube, this is a spoiler alert. We are going to be playing Far Harbor. So uh, thanks for joining me. Let's dive on in. Whoops. Whoops! I have the <laughs> I have the wrong uh, I have the wrong game added here. So add. I gotta add a game. Let me add. Um, actually, here. There we go. All right. So we've got Fallout Four here. Let's dive on in. Now I position myself right next to Nick Valentine. So. Uh, Hopefully, we'll be able to immediately start the game. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We, we got to listen to a radio station. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Okay. Sounds good. So I need to talk to Ellie. Should I bring Nick with me? I bet you Nick will be there when I get there. So let's well. just like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. All right, well, why don't you join Wait. me? Time to hit the road. Let's head out. Well, all right. Zalthrion is in the chat. Pleasure to have you, Zalthrion. Gnome Smasher says, greetings, Oxhorn and Zug Zug. Well, Zug Zug to you as well. So, glu uh, so good to have you on the program today. Let's go talk to Ellie Perkins. Again, for those who just joined the live stream, spoiler alert, this is Far Harbor, the latest downloadable content for Fallout 4. So, if you don't want spoilers, you shouldn't watch this broadcast. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. I'm afraid hard-earned caps <laughs> is all we've got to offer, honey. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Ooh, missing people. I had a people. worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. <laughs> okay. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but... I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. <laughs> what, what kind of, why would you hold that back? Come so on. So is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Yes. Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. 
Hey, whatever floats your boat, Gumshoe. <laughs> and the Kano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. That's how the hard cases always start. I can't believe Nick disliked that. Come on, Nick, don't you have a sense of humor, buddy? Alright, uh, so let's go find... Travel to the Nakano residence. Okay. Oh, wow, this is on the edge of uh, nowhere. Hello? Ah. Man. <laughs> I'm just too excited about this DLC. I can't... I can't even remember that I can't fast travel from interior cells, ladies and gentlemen. Gamer Wolf says, hi there, Oxhorn. Hi there, Gamer Wolf. Pleasure to have you on the program. I don't have too many hours of this in me, ladies and gentlemen. It, it is a work night, so I'll try to get in as much as I can. All right, Nick, let's go. Uh, oh, come on, really? Okay. We're getting some lag because um, Coastal Cottage is right next to us, and that's a completely built-out settlement. Uh, am I supposed to be going? Oh, yeah, it's way up there. Wait a minute. I thought it was right there. Did the, the map marker move? All right, well, let's go find out what's going on. Looks like I can't go that way. Nick, you'll catch up. Why do I have two map markers going on here? Um, there we go. Okay. Okay, I cannot go this way. Free fall legs, everyone's favorite. Uh, okay, this is annoying. Looks like they opened up just this little sliver of the map. Oh, look, a new house. That's new. <clears throat> the Oblivious says, do I hear a jetpack? I think I do. Nice, I need to get myself a GTX 1080. Uh, make my Fallout 4 look horrible. Just need to get the FPS, man. Ooh, look at this little house. This is cool. Gotta love new Damn architecture. It. Come in. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Like this guy's outfit. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. 
We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. If I do a sarcastic, which I want to, Nick is going to get upset because he has no sense of humor. Let me just be goody two-shoes for the rest of this. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Uh -oh. Maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Ah, uh, I don't want to piss off Nick. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Okay, let's check out her bedroom. Her bedroom's upstairs. Let's see if we can find any clues. I'm guessing that's not it, because it's a double bed. There, this looks like a 19-year-old's bedroom. Let's snoop around. What's this? A holotape. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then... We'll at least have circuitry in common. Oh, look at this. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt like a spark of electricity to the back of my head and then everyone turns to look at me god i hope i don't have it again tonight recurring dreams about white rooms and experimentation another holotape project log lamp yep it's a lamp <laughs> filament plus power equals light i swear sometimes i think my parents break these things just to keep me all right, well, we have uh, pilfered the upstairs of holotapes. Let's see if we can find anything in the kitchen. Yep. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Ooh. Wait, Dad, I, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have uh. your list. You, you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Sorry. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. So we've got... An overprotective father. Uh, okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Aww. Um. Hello? Testing? <clears throat> Project log. Holiday player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I 
guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Is I recording that? Ugh. Dr. Triforce says, hello, Ox. How have you been? How are you liking the DLC so far? I just started it. I'm enjoying it so far. Project blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Oh. Of course. She wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Ugh. I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tube and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. So we have a young girl. Ooh. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. Mm. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. All right, so we've got a girl who is obviously a synth, and her parents never told her, and she fixed a radio, picked up a signal, heard that there's a sanctuary just for synths in a town called Far Harbor, and off she went. All right, let's talk to the parents. Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. It doesn't matter if your daughter is a synth, Mrs. Nakano. She's still a person who needs help. But my daughter isn't a synth. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. That's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Bar Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please. Take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Interesting. So I can tell the railroad about this. Um, let's go talk to the railroad first. Chaotic Enigma is in the house today and says it's been a long time. Um, and he's very late, but good evening, everyone. Pleasure to have you. 
always Chaotic Enigma. Carrington wants word. I'm not here to do any of your crazy quests right now. I'm here to talk to That's Desdemona. Now our biggest challenge is the sheer number of synths we're hiding. Uh... Why... Why did that pop-up say talk to the railroad and then I don't have an option or a quest item to talk to the railroad? Alright. Well then, forget the railroad. We're moving on. Ooh. It was a dark, stormy night. Well, not really stormy. It's actually fairly clear weather. Onwards to Far Harbor. Leave the Commonwealth. Travel to Far Harbor. Yes, please. Ooh. Oh, I can't go up. I can't get off. I'm trapped on the boat. I'm on a boat. I just want to look out the window like a puppy. Is that so bad? Why does he keep pushing me back? Come on, I just want to look at the window. Fade out. To the mist. Hello. <clears throat> Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We uh, don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Well, thanks, Nick. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Sure thing! The post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Oh, okay, I'll follow you. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Okay, well, I don't plan to fall off, but I have just what's needed here. This gun has never served me wrong. Man the fall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? Ooh. I peeled everyone. Peeled indeed. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Yourselves. 
Okay. Ooh, young gulper. Blasted frag mines, why do they show up on vats? Ha! Now the song Gnome Overboard pops in the head. Ooh! Roll, 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 roll. Three men and a gnome went out to sea to slay the mighty whale. No, eyes on the fog. Eyes on the fog. I hear something insidious. Oh, yeah. We're clear. All right. Well done, all. <whistles> Open the gate. The hole took a battery. To be sure. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Hi there. Well, beside the Captain Amy. Town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. I can't Specialized hear tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Yeah. Okay, Eagle's Cove Tannery. Well, okay. Meet Captain Avery, help the Mariner, help Cassie. <clears throat> Let us first talk to the Mariner, or the, uh... Avery, and now you see what we're up against. The fog and creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people for your help when we needed it you deserve this what's the fog where to begin the fog's radioactive right but there are pockets of it the deep fog that are hard fallout and as deadly as that is that's only part of the problem hmm. things live in the fog Ooh. thrive you think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. But then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damned hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee 
Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know, as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But... People around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Aww. Dangerous, okay? <clears throat> Well, what a sweetie. She's obviously the diplomatic type. Um, okay, let's see if we can find Cassie. Generic harbor woman. I'm sure that Alan runs the armory. Uh, is this Cassie? Sandra? Let's just talk to Sandra. Howdy, Sandra. The Mariner says the fog's alive. The can hear you. So you know, what would you say? Sandra? The children of Adam are trying to kill us all. Drive us into the ocean. Nobody asked you to cobble together that stupid wall. You want yourself commodities? You know how to get them. Caps. That stupid wall is the only thing that can be stolen. With ordnance like that, no wonder you like that these crabs. There's Cassie. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far High. That's the voice actress to Mama Murphy. A tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy mm. and took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. The island. Killing us off one by one. <laughs> I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for okay, all. Okay, she sounds a bit Looney Tunes. Uh, Crewbees says, were you the one that was raided by Tim a long time ago? Yes, I was raided quite a while ago. Glad you stuck around. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a cool one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, she keeps looking at the, the camera. That disturbs me. Our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of Freckle Face Pete. Freckle Face Pete. Pete? Was my cousin, 
He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Uh-oh. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes. Poor Freckleface. Damn, Shane. Stop looking at the camera. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Eliminate the feral ghouls. I could use time. Alone. Fine. Erna says the island's alive. <laughs> Every day another harbor man. Whoa! She is messed up. Wow, okay. Hi there. Small Bertha? They named her Bertha? Man, parents must hate her. Sorry to any Berthas watching. Hi, Tony. Well, hello. Nothing? All right. Let's talk to Small Bertha. Got anything to say, Small Bertha? Get lost. I don't need your charity. Okay. okay. Before we go to the last plank, let us see if there are any other named NPCs around here. Ooh. So instead of live lobsters, they keep live. Mire lurk for they're boiling a mire lurk, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds delicious. You ain't on. You ain't long for hey. Howdy, Brooks. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. See what you got for sale. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, understandable. Buying anything? Yeah, I am. Let's deal. Let's set you up. All right, what you got? Harpoon gun, my very first harpoon gun. Damage 150. Hmm. And a meat hook. It's a melee weapon. Lever action rifle. Damage 122. A pole hook. That's new. Puncturing knuckles. I think that's new. Submachine gun. Fisherman's hat. Fisherman's outfit. Fisherman overalls. Longshoreman outfit. Old fisherman's hat. I think I'm going to like this DLC. Recon marine helmet. Whoa, look at this. One agility and perception. <clears throat> Sadly, it doesn't take ballistic weave, I bet, so it's useless to me. Winter jacket and jeans, all right. Aid, is there any new aid? No, miscellaneous and junk. Any new junk? Concrete, lots of concrete. Nope. All right. Thanks, Brooks. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Hey there. Another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Vulture? Andre? No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Let me see what you're selling. What? Oh, yeah. Trade. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get with it. Uh, tar berries. A little bit of, ooh, shipping to Ventiseptic. That's about it. I did see a dialogue option that I missed earlier. Doctoring? Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fall. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. 
Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. But I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Watch your way. Let's take a look at Andre. Hello, Andre. Yeah. Bait shop's got it. You look rough. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. Andre is suffering from prolonged severe radiation exposure. He is barely clinging to life. Intelligence 8 or Medic 2 required to heal. This is like the second time in the game you actually get these options based on your stats. Well, I'll be. I think you may have done. I'll keep looking after Andre. But I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. All right. Well, I'm glad they included more of that in uh, the DLC. Uh, Andre, you have a fitful night's sleep, and, and souvenirs. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Who else do we have? We have Sandra Lee. I tried talking to you earlier. Do you have anything for me? Hey, Sandra. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. All right. So it looks like Sandra is Alan's piece of tail. Hey, Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? Or the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse get you. I don't think I like your attitude, buddy. What's the problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up. They've been feeding the fog. Getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof? Whoa! That they've fed the fog? Proof. <laughs> Wait for that, and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Creepy guy behind me. My daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now, every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. Show me what you got. Don't try anything. All right, what you got there, Alan? Admiral's friend does double jet damage if the target is at full health. It's a harpoon gun, a legendary harpoon gun. I'm glad I didn't buy the other one. The fish catcher. 40% less action point cost. Melee weapon. <clears throat> Dr. Triforce says, I thought you uh, said you disliked ocean fishing. I don't like dislike the fishing. I like the fishing. I dislike the eating. I am not fond of ocean eating. Anything from the ocean. It just doesn't fit in your stomach. Not my stomach. I've got unique stomach needs. Needs that do not require fish. But I'll kill them. I'll kill the fish. I can do that. Ah, uh, nothing too terribly exciting. He has quite an inventory. Two legendary items. All right. Uh, where was that creepy guy behind me? <laughs> he just uh, disappeared. Man. All right. Further exploration. Into the tannery. You find my tools yet? I'm working on it. Don't bother me. What's in the souvenir shop? Harborman, Captain Avery, already talked with you. What's on upstairs? Not a thing. These are our defenses. Food. Stim packs. Fully stuffed. Alright, let's go to the bar. That's the next step. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's a woman! It's a creepy harbor woman. Steer clear. Woo. Whoa. Everyone. Everyone. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths. Open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. 
see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. We have a drunk somewhere. Where's this conversation taking place? I don't see a soul. All right, time to talk to this guy. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the farm. Last fella couldn't keep up in the last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk right there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us, I mean. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me. I've done a whole lot more. For a whole lot less. Clever in your words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Okay. Before I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities. Rad X and the like. Then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Wait, already? All right. Uh, I'll be right there. I got some talking to do. Burns the belly, but get mainlander. Today's your lucky day. Free beer for you. <laughs> Sweet ice cold beer. You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! Stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's a lie. You walk inland, and it'll blanket you up in no time. If the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. Ooh. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. Oh. But many just got lost in the fog. For too long. Too long. And mine goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from. And don't look back. I'd like a drink. Let's get you liquored up then. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Ha! Let's get you liquored up. Ha! All right. Well, uh, looks like I gotta find a guy. He ran out the door without me. For a guy who doesn't want to do this with any other people because he's tired of leading people to their deaths, he sure ran out that door in a quite a hurry. Alright. Looks like there's nothing left in here. Let's go forward. Mirelurk jerky added. That's new. Thanks, I'll take the Mirelurk jerky. Let's see exactly what it does. Ooh, that's right, a new map. Where am I? Okay. Wow. Um, that's a pretty big place. There's Far Harbor, National Park Campground, and Eagles Cove Tannery. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wow, this is a huge, huge DLC. Okay. 
Meyer Lurk Jerky, what does it do? Poison resistance 15, HP 35. Perception 3? Great for a Vats character. All right, old Longfellow, lead me on. Please don't die. I kind of like you. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you won't live. Goodness. <laughs> when in Rome. I didn't see any tracks though. Really, this far away from Far Harbor and we're already crouching and sneaking? Is it that dangerous, buddy? Well you would know. Ooh, what kind of armor is that? That's interesting. Coastal armor. Ah! Oh, hey, bud. Thanks, bud. Uh, what's next? See the fog into a number. Get you all turned around. There's something on the brain. Rappers were mean to begin Dengen says, love you. Love you, too. So glad you're watching. Like them puppies. <laughs> we grow everything extra meat. Right. So these guys have been making such a huge deal about the radiation. And here I am. I'm not even in a hazmat suit. And <laughs> it's not that big a deal. One right away is going to take care of me here in 30 minutes. Because I spoke too soon. There's something insidious in the fog. We ain't alone.
Dungeon says, what game is this? This is Fallout 4. Yikes! Uh, there, a, a, D, a DLC dropped. It's called Far Harbor. And I'm playing it for the first time. Fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. <laughs> I like this old guy. I hope he doesn't die. That would make me sad. Whoops, if I shoot him there, I'll kill him. That's a problem with a Gauss rifle. It, um, wow, I was standing right next to those uh, irradiated barrels. The Gauss rifle uh, will go right through enemies and hit whatever's behind them, so you can very easily kill an ally. A settler or someone from the railroad or a Minuteman. So you gotta be careful with the Gauss rifle. And daylight breaks! Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Katie is not too far now. Great, what's this? Okay. And we've arrived. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. So I can have him as a companion. Sweet. You should come with me. I can still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking along. Bye, Nick. It was great having you around. I've always really liked Nick. So now we've got uh, old Longfellow. Oh, he's singing. I've been a wild rover. No, never, no more. So I don't see what weapon he has, but he does have 45 to 70 caliber ammunition. All right, old long fellow, you're with me now. Let's go on up. a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old Synth on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. 
Really? Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She okay. has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? What? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth. What? Don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. And I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need <clears throat> from me? So, I mean, obviously this character lived before the bombs fell, which was before the, the uh, MIT started creating synths. So she couldn't be a synth unless she died in the vault and father created a synth version of her words. to let her out. Hmm. Who are you? What's your story? Denji says, what you smoking? I'm smoking an Arturo Fuente imported. My creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? You should know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery, but that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. Thanks. We have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? Northwind says, hello, Oxhorn. Hello, good sir. Lifestream says, hi. Pleasure to have you on the show. I'm part of a group that helps since. A railroad. 
Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture... This guy is filled with judgment! Sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Ideals aren't going to protect escaped sense. We do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. Thank you. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth. In relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Victims? Ooh. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Who's talking? Can't speak to this one. Whoa. Okay, hi. Where are you going, Faraday? Wow, what's with all this tech? What are these guys doing? I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. <clears throat> so, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just... Let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. And the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? 
sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. And thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay, Northwind says, do you think you'll play on legacy servers that Blizzard makes? Um, probably not. I really enjoyed uh, World of Warcraft back in the day, but I'm moving on to whatever's new, and this is new, so I'm trying it out. <laughs> as much love as I have for World of Warcraft, that's a part of my past that I would love to remember as the pristine and wonderful thing it was ten years ago. That's how I prefer to remember it. <laughs> Okay, I found a storage key. Now to find the storage bunker. Yes? Wow. This is quite a thing. All right, let's see if we can find this missing uh, lady. Oh, it's... What's that? Fusion core? Yes, please. Excuse me. New girl, right? Must be, <laughs> because I don't recognize you. Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway. Even after saying I don't want to talk, God, you try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Jeez! You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now just please. Leave me alone. Well, aren't you a bag of sunshine? Goodness gracious. Hi. I assume you're not planning on staying long. I'll probably be leaving soon. That's for the best. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. I thought you were a merchant. Hey. You want to buy something or what? Yep. Let's see what you have. It's not much, but it's the best I can do. Radium rifle. Ooh. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. Old reliable. Shoots an additional projectile. A bolt action, uh, a pump action rifle. Sergeant Ash. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. Energy damage. Wow. That is so cool looking. So you're that new gal from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? You think of the Commonwealth as back home? Aren't you a sin? Well, certainly. Why wouldn't I? It's where I came from. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Perfect. 10% less damage from radiation-based attacks. Never had much use for books. <clears throat> Acadia may not look like much from the outside. 
It's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost, so scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place, a place just for us. And now here I am, for all it's worth. So now you're here, what comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Hmm. This place is not all uh, sunshine and rainbows. <clears throat> You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Do you think you're better off now that you're here? Oh, absolutely. I don't have to pretend, I don't have to lie, and I don't worry that someone's gonna kill me in my sleep. Or worse. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. I'm really not up to chatting right now. Excuse me. So? I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? It's kind of beautiful in its own way. That's refreshing. Most don't view it the same. I'm glad someone else can see it. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt long after we're gone. What's important? really important in the long run is understanding it and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us so what exactly are you doing as much as i can given limited resources cataloging specimens observing evolutionary trends compiling data for future generations i should note that i'm not fully versed in human anatomy but i'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, I don't know. That abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Okay. Hey there. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. I've got a few minutes to browse. Now we're talking. Recon Marine Chest Piece. Reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. Cool. An armor vendor. <clears throat> no way to pick this. Hmm, so that's not the key I picked up, eh? Okay. Ugh, circuitry is complete. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just 
trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Went to some trouble, in fact. Took a walk through the fog to find you. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Sumi, listen to me. You're not a sin. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Now that would be cause for concern. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Mm. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Whatever we find out, I hope there's a way to make some caps out of it. Someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe. Okay, this... I'm getting a lot to do. <laughs> Slightly overwhelmed here, ladies and gentlemen. Found the girl. Now I got a hack terminal. Or ease drop on a conversation. This... Is... Alright, let's go on up. You know, I never checked out this guy's full inventory. I've got a few minutes to browse. All right. Yeah. Take a look. Nothing. Okay. Um. Let's head on up. See if I can find that storage room for which I have a key. And... Then there's listening in. There we go. Nice. Looks 
like you know your way around the terminal. I've done a bit of this hacking before, my friend. Just a wee bit. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. About the children of Adam, what do you know about them? Well, I heard about them a little bit back in the Commonwealth. Radiation worship, something like that. I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. Okay. Time to get Dima's memories. Yes. There it is. Just loot, nothing storyline related. Alright. Alright, let's go talk to Dima. left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base that you're worried the children of Adam will get to them you've been busy I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us huh. I suppose you have maybe this is an opportunity for both of us I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia but you you're new to the island all right. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, 
to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. <laughs> One more thing before you leave. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics in the news. I won't complain if it comes to violence. Yeah, hope it does. Right. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. <clears throat> you track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, 
We've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L792. That should convince him. That's as much help Hey, as thanks for following, you. Wolfie. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. All right. Quests, quests, quests. Lots of quests. So the primary storyline is to go into a bunker and find some early memories. Talk to Brooks, gain access to Dima's terminal, Retrieve the storage drives. Living on edge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've been doing this for a couple hours now, and I need to go to bed so that I can have a nice day at work tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast here, but fear not, we will be doing more Far Harbor uh, as the... Uh, as the week progresses. My show is tomorrow, my live show, Scotch and Smoke Rings. So for those who are new, I do this show regularly scheduled every week at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So tomorrow is going to be my show. So feel free to uh, show up then for the main event. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited about Far Harbor. I'm glad that you guys are here with me. Stay tuned for more. And be sure to uh, check out my YouTube channel. It's just youtube.com slash classy man I am, all one word, for a lot of Fallout 4 content. That's where I'm publishing all of my videos these days. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here so that I can go to bed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later.